Well, it is an international adventure a thriller about bioterrorism and unearthing the Spanish flu virus. Joining us right now is local author is Stephen Smith of The Iceman Kills. Good morning to you, Stephen. Hey, good morning. Thank you for having good me. Good morning. Absolutely. You and I chatted about this uh, just a short time before this interview. This is very interesting that this book is coinciding at a time when all of this is happening with the coronavirus. What is that like? Because you, you said you've been writing this for almost four years. Yeah, it's just amazing. I mean, I finished it uh, over a year ago and I figured it was coming. You know, I planned it out, but, you know, but, you know, to close the book and then a year later, it's like, this is really happening. Yeah, this is really happening. Okay, let's dive deeper into this book, though, because although it seems like there are some similarities on the surface, there are quite a few differences, too. Yeah, so, I mean, the book is about the pandemic. It's a real pandemic, and it actually happened in 1997. That story is told in the prologue. But when you get into the book, you realize that this is real stuff. I mean, as you read it, you don't think, well, it's something somebody's created. You know, you realize that the character is very real and especially the pandemic is real. And unfortunately, it's worse than COVID-19, much worse. Wow. And uh, it's based on the Spanish flu. Mm -hmm. And so you start reading the book and you say, yeah, this could happen. Not only the character is very realistic, but where the story takes place. So it takes place on four continents in multiple countries and some of those countries which i don't want to get into but they will be surprises and they will be very realistic because some of them are enemies to the united states yeah it's really interesting as well because you have quite um an interesting background did you use some of your own personal experiences and adventures in this book how do those intertwine together as a matter of fact, I did, you know, there are two main characters in the story that, in other words, the protagonist, uh, Matt Bowman and John Lynn. But Matt Bowman, I am not, believe it or not, I am not in the CIA and never have been. <laughs> I've been okay. for a long time, and I still do, and I was a flight instructor, and that part's really interesting because Matt Bowman was a flight instructor, and he's gone on to several things, and now as we open the story, he's in the CIA. And he's not a type character. He's just a, a regular person, albeit he's in the CIA and he's been trained. But he's a pilot. That's what he does mm -hmm. for them. Right. And John right. Lynn's the same way. Uh, sort of based on my sister because she's one of these people that won't take huh. no pressure. And she's a uh, AP news reporter, and she goes after what she needs to. She starts off in chapter one. Uh, going to uh, an island in the Caribbean, and she's interviewing President Xi. So she's not somebody mm -hmm. taken lightly. Yeah, absolutely. What do you hope that people take away from a book like this? What do you hope that they, they leave with, so to speak? Wow, I guess one is that if you want to really be entertained and read something like one of the old James Bond novels, not like the yeah. movies, but like the guy that was the original Ian Fleming James Bond. He wasn't perfect. He made lots of mistakes and he wasn't possible, not like the movies. And so when you read those novels, it's like, wow, this is so cool. This guy is real. And hopefully when you read the book, you'll say, this is real stuff and I like this. The sinister part, uh, is that you read the book and you're like, oh my goodness, this could really happen. Yeah. And it's not a country that is doing this, but it's a terrorist group funded yeah. by another country and funded by a lot of uh, rich people. But you read the book and you say, yeah, this could happen. So well, I guess to take a have a good time reading it. At, well, especially with, with now that everything that's, that's happening, and if you have some extra time on your hands, um, I think this would be a great read for sure. Um, you say that we can get this on Amazon, perhaps? So it's on all the major retailers, and it's on Goodreads. You'll see a nice big um, review there by one of the librarians. That's fantastic. Well, we appreciate your time. We'll put all your contact information on our website, indiestyle.tv. But thank you so much for your time, Steve, and we appreciate it. Thank you.